In this equation, we have lead to nitrate plus potassium chromate. So to balance the equation, we'll use a bit of a trick that'll make it a lot easier. So let's count the atoms up. We have one lead, and then this NO3, this is the nitrate ion. This is one you should remember. You have it here, and again over here. It stays together in the chemical reaction. We're gonna count it as just one thing. So I have two of the nitrates, two potassium, and then the chromate here, CrO4. I have it here, it stays together right here. It's a polyatomic ion. So I'm just going to say I have one chromate. On the product side, I have one lead, one nitrate, one potassium, and then one chromate. So you can see this makes it a lot easier to do this because we have these numbers. It's a lot neater. And I can see right away, all I need to do is double the nitrate and the potassium. If I put a two here, one times two, that's balanced. Nitrate, one times two, I have two of those and we're done. This equation is balanced. So these polyatomic ions, when they stay together, you have them on both sides. You can count them as one thing, makes it a lot quicker to balance. Either way, you'll get the same answer. This is just very fast. Note that we have these two aqueous solutions here. When they react, this lead to chromate is gonna be a solid. So this will be a precipitate. It'll fall to the bottom of the test tube. This is Dr. B with the equation for PBNO32 plus K2CrO4. Lead to nitrate plus potassium chromate. Thanks for watching.